Yuki Tsunoda could be Red Bull's most significant Formula 1 driver in years. He's the most exciting prospect to emerge from this stable since Max Verstappen, he scored points on his F1 debut with Alpha Tauri, and he's shown the traits integral to hopes he can become Japan's first F1 race winner. There are big expectations for Sonoda and comparisons to Verstappen can never be made lightly, but this isn't about judging the two like for like as drivers. Instead it's about the rare place Sonoda seems to occupy in Red Bull's affections and what he's doing on track to justify that. If you like what you see in this video please give us a thumbs up at any point and hit the subscribe button if you want to come back for more in the future. Now let's explore the underlying qualities that make Sonoda such a promising prospect and will stand him in good stead through his rookie F1 season. Sonoda is the first modern day Honda protege to make it to F1, but it would be unfair to think that support is the reason he's become a favoured Red Bull son as well. Above all else, Sonoda has thrived with every challenge thrown at him. He's quick, a great racer and has made big improvements with the language barrier and emotional immaturity that were the most obvious hurdles in his first year racing in Europe back in 2019. That year he was launched onto the F1 package in Formula 3 for his first year outside his home country and after a brief period of adaptation he won a race driving for arguably the worst team. There would be no second F3 season though. Instead, Red Bull launched him up the ladder into Formula 2, and he starred again, winning three races, scoring four pole positions, and finishing third in the championship. Top rookie, and in the end, damn close to winning the title. One thing that was notable in that rookie F2 season was the absence of blatant driving errors. Of the leading runners, he made fewer costly mistakes despite having the least experience. And if the championship was decided on feature race results, the real part of the weekend, he'd have been champion. A tendency for emotional outburst remains Sonoda's biggest weakness, but this is a driver who gets thrown in at the deep end and swims. His rapid rise from Formula 4 in 2018 to F1 in 2021 is a little in the Verstappen mould of jumping from karts to F3, then F3 to Formula 1. To properly impress at Red Bull, the usual need for development and refinement and learning does apply, but it's as much about showing sparks of brilliance in difficult situations. Red Bull's lack of serious junior options in recent years suggests it has often paid the price for asking too much too soon of its protégés, but Sonoda breaks that chain. Sonoda's reaction after becoming the first driver since Stoffel van Dorn in 2016 to score points on his F1 debut was telling. His response to being told, you did a fantastic race, we're going to have fun this year, after crossing the line to finish 9th in the Bahrain Grand Prix, was to apologise for a poor first lap. He would also later lament his qualifying performance when he failed to escape Q2 using medium tyres as not acceptable. Sonoda also made life difficult for himself at the aborted first start when he overshot his grid slot significantly and had to reverse. After the race he said he was happy but also a bit disappointed and lost too many positions on that opening lap while also being critical of his car positioning. Considering at this point he'd yet to have an opportunity to even view a replay, it showed he had absorbed what happened really well. It would have been easy for his head to drop when he fell to a race low of 17th early on but he made efficient progress from there and worked his way smartly into the points positions. Sonoda even mugged Aston Martin driver Lance Stroll into turn one on the last lap to take ninth and complete a final stint that was strong on tyre management with an overtake he felt compelled to try or he wouldn't have been able to sleep on Sunday night. His only mistakes after that opening lap were asking a little too much of the front tyres on several occasions as well as a few over enthusiastic moments on the throttle. But he seemed to have calmed down the overexcited radio communication that had still been prevalent earlier in the weekend, including a sweary outburst in Friday practice. Overall, Sonoda made more than a good impression, but there was also a strong sense that ninth place in a car as competitive as the Alpha Tauri simply wasn't good enough for him. Given his underlying speed, that desire to improve and capacity to learn should allow Sonoda to sharpen his skills rapidly in what's likely to be a strong rookie campaign. For Sonoda to reach the Red Bull senior team, he'll need to do more than a couple of the other impressive drivers Red Bull has nurtured in the last decade, namely Pierre Gasly and Carlos Sainz Jr. Gasly and Sainz were champions of F1's primary feeder categories GP2 and Formula Renault 3.5 and arrived in F1 with plenty of promise and expectation. 
but neither of them seem to have had the faith of Red Bull's management, at least in the way that Sonoda's got it. Sainz was never more than a Toro Rosso driver with the stigma of a tense season as Verstappen's teammate preventing him from ever being a serious option to Red Bull in the long term. While Gasly's a driver Red Bull's never seemed fully convinced by and was jettisoned from the senior team much quicker than he made it there. Their respective seasons at Alfa Tauri and McLaren in 2020, plus Sainz's subsequent move to Ferrari, count as evidence that Red Bull might have misjudged them, and its losses have certainly been others' gains. But there's something about Sonoda that suggests he has a better lit path to the senior team. It's a combination of his potential, his ability at the moment, and how Red Bull seems so taken with him in a way that no other protege since Verstappen has really attracted. His development has been rapid, his speed is evident, and his place as Red Bull's new flavour of the month seemed firmly secured in the wake of his impressive debut. It's always thrilling when F1 welcomes a driver with seemingly boundless potential. Verstappen was exactly that type of driver, and Red Bull seems to believe in Sonoda, it's found another. He'll have to keep improving and impress alongside Gasly at Alpha Tauri before Red Bull seriously contemplates the next step, but if he does that, then the buzz around Sonoda's only going to grow. How impressed have you been by Sonoda so far, and when do you think he'll get a shot at Red Bull's main team? Make sure you let us know in the comments.